on to my video. Hey, did you see that wicked new intro I made? It's nice, isn't it? Hey. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's go on to the video now. Just to let you guys know that um, uh, my last day of school is June 22, and um, I will probably go back to school on, I think, September 7. I'm not sure, just like um, last summer. So I'll keep you up to date on how long I'll be on. I'll have my summer vacation. <laughs> So, enjoy the video. This is my D-Link DI524 router. I wanted to make a video about this router because, well, it's an, because, well, this is an ancient router now. It's, there's probably little of them left. Um, probably, whoa. Probably not a lot of stores sell these routers now cuz well D-Link stopped supporting these uh, this router in uh, early 2008 so uh, You're probably stuck if this thing breaks on you Ah, oh, jeez, It still works though, but I had this thing for a very long time a very long time uh, I remember when uh, I remember a few years ago I'll tell you a story on how I got this router okay you'll be entertained I promise <laughs> okay probably a few years ago I was in my basement and I saw this package right beside my dad and I was like what and I asked what is that it, and he said it's our new router and he said, oh, goody. I said, oh, goody. So, I saw him unpacking uh, unpacking this router out of the box. And I was like, wow, this is great. And this router was connected to my Dell, probably. Huh, first, first time I got it, for sure. So, I still have these routers. Um... Uh, yeah, I still have this router, but not a lot of stores sell these routers anymore because uh, Well, as you may know um, Wireless N is taking over probably wireless G GNB Because uh, it's a newer technology than wireless G. Yeah, um, the, D the DI524 router is a uh, G router um, if you plan on getting the DI514, that's a. I researched that, that's a B router. So. I used to have one of those, but. I. I gave it away, so I can't show it. But they look similar. They look similar. Just. It, it's a wireless B router. So. Uh, if I only have those, I'll show you. So, yeah, this router still works. It works great on my PlayStation. Works great on the Wi-Fi right there. Um, and it wor also works great on Ethernet too. Huh. I could, I should have told um my the guy who was setting up my internet um i should have told him that my dell has a a wireless card i'll show you it's right right there where my finger is pointing to um i forgot to tell him that this thing has a wireless uh adapter so but he went ahead and plugged in an ethernet cord. Oh well. Oh well. Try to make the best of it. So, as you can see, um, port 1 is connected to my Dell and port 2 is my, uh, connected to my HP. Since my freaking wireless card doesn't work anymore, 
doesn't want to even cooperate with the laptop anymore. <laughs> that sucks. So, no more taking this laptop upstairs and enjoying wireless internet. I have to stay down here in the basement. Sucks. Of course, when you buy standalone routers like these, you need a modem for it to work. I got I got this modem for free from my service provider. Sweet. I had this thing for two years now. And it still works. Um, I used to have a WebStar router, uh, a WebStar modem, but eh, I traded it for this one. I don't know why, but my the guy who works at for my ISP decided to. So, yeah, I got a free modem, which is awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, you can see all all of these cables connected. Yeah. Funny story on how um these cables is a mess. See, my friend came here and we were cleaning up the desk. And in my first video I ever made, I have my I had my Dell on this desk right here. It was sitting right here. And this case was all the way back there. So, yeah. Um he decided to leave and put the Dell on the floor. So, it's just so I can get more room on my desk and well I just I decided that well since I had like a bunch of wires here that what that wasn't even organized um he helped me clean it up so what he did was he got scotch tape and wired around wired the cables around together so it would be organized so yeah so, the internet is right here, uh, in this coaxial cables. There are three of them. And they go all the way through here, and all the way up to the window. That's where the internet signal is coming from. I don't know why, but my service provider did that just to get internet signal. So we got the coaxial cable, got, put it all the way up to the window and set it up. He got some these kind of staples and jammed it into like that. And there it was stuck to the wall so there's nothing I could do with this cable. <laughs> so. Back to the D-Link router. <laughs> so I had this thing for a very long time. And if this thing dies, uh, I'm out of luck. Because this router isn't supported by D-Link anymore. Sucks very much. <laughs> I need a new wireless G router. Really do need it. Yeah. Um, of course, it's a 802.11G router 2.4 gigahertz speed wireless router yeah the only downside is it only comes with one one antenna for signal on the wireless internet so that sucks so since the router is down here in my basement if I'm upstairs used to I used to have my HP laptop upstairs on wireless internet and this thing would be slow because I'm not close to the router. It would be clo uh, very slow on speed. That's why you need to be at least close to your router to get to a, a good signal of course. Yeah, so this thing still works. It still works and I'm very surprised. And we will test the internet activity right now. Yeah, there we go, it works. 
sweet. Yeah, this thing is, this router rocks, it's the best. And, well, if it dies on me, uh, it's too bad, and this, this thing has been with me for a long, long time. So, yeah. I hope, I just wish, um, the store, some computer stores still sell these routers, because they were awesome back in its time. Before D Link was supporting it. Uh, time flies very fast. Okay, since I don't want to make this video too long, um, uh, thanks for watching and goodbye.